More than 60 million views and counting. Y'all can't stop talking about this, watching it, re-watching it. It's the incredible and terrifying YouTube video of a shark attacking a surfer. I saw it on my Facebook feed first. Yasmin, the attack unfolded on live TV during a world tour competition Crazy. in South Africa. Every time you watch it, it's still surprising. Incredibly, pro surfer Mick Fanning fought off the shark and survived without any injuries. And then when you're watching the video later, you can just tell how visibly shaken yes. he actually is. You have to hear him relive his encounter with the shark. Take a listen. I saw this fin and, and you know, it went up my board and, and I guess it smacked me in the head. I don't even remember that. But, and then the next thing, it, it came back around and, and went again at my board. And um, yeah, and then it was like, all right, it's either my, me or the shark and sort of, but it just kept going from my board. I think I tried to punch it um, and I was like, and then it started like dragging me under and um, dragging me by my leash. And, and uh, yeah, I, I, I was like, I don't know what to do here. Do I keep my board or whatever? And, and uh, yeah, it just sort of just, made its own course and then um, my, my leash broke and it was going from my board and then I just started swimming for sure, screaming at Julian to, to head in but as a, as a warrior and a, as a legend he just came for me. I mean, I can't even imagine what he was feeling when he recognized it was a shark. He was obviously talking about Julian Wilson, another guy who was competing uh, in the water. And, and Julian started swimming towards him, him to try to help and help him. him out. Yeah, so the World Surf League interviewed Wilson uh, right after the shark attack as well. Let's yeah. take a listen to that. I came up and he was wrestling it. I saw the whole thing and then saw he got knocked off his board. And then, like, a little wave popped up. And I was like, oh, he's gone. Like, he's He's going under. And I like. I felt like I couldn't get there quick enough. Obviously, he's visibly shaken after what he so just emotional. encountered. Ab emotion. By the way, there were two sharks in the area. The World Surf League commissioner canceled the competition, which this has never happened before. Yeah. Wilson and Fanning ended up splitting the grand prize money, though. Yeah, so joining us via Skype are, are Rob Kelly, pro surfer for Billabong, and fellow surfer Ben Graff. Thank you guys both for joining us. Incredible video. You guys, I mean, we're watching that, and, and we're just completely shocked by it. Rob, what was it like when you watched that video for the first time? Oh, it was hard to believe. You had to watch it a couple of times to really, like, grasp what was going on. Um, like you said, it was, on, it was live. I was watching it on my phone on the webcast, and when I saw it, I really couldn't believe. I mean, you know that there's always the threat of sharks, especially in South Africa, but for that to actually happen and see it live and... The footage that the cameraman got of it was pretty crystal clear. You could see everything. It was pretty unbelievable. Crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And Ben, this one's to you. Julian Wilson willing to risk his life to go after Fanning and help him. Is that kind of camaraderie in surfing the norm? Yeah, definitely. I mean, <clears throat> even though uh, they're competing against each other, um, everyone who surfs a lot is, you know, it's like a brotherhood. So, uh, it's definitely, I would say, the norm to try to help one of your brothers. And uh, they say, like, if when you're getting attacked by a shark, the best thing to do is be aggressive towards the shark. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can understand why they wanted to uh, react how they did. Well, it definitely seemed like that, that worked for him because he did say he punched the shark in the back. Have either of you, and Rob, I'll go to you first, have either of you had experiences with a shark? Because when, you, when you're out in the water and you're a surfer, that risk is always there. Every surfer has a story with a shark. Yeah, it's always there. And you probably, if you've surfed for a couple of years, chances are you will encounter a shark. Maybe not to the degree that Mick did. Mm -hmm. um, but... We see them all the time, like especially in places like Hawaii or more exotic spots. And a lot of times it's one of the surfers will spot them and then just kind of tell everybody, hey, saw fin, whatever, and everyone just together collectively paddles in. Um, I've done, I've swam with sharks, did cage diving stuff, did some stuff outside of it, and um, never saw like a, anything like that, obviously, but... It is a threat, and we know it as surfers. Um, well, Ben, that's that actually, I have a follow-up question there for uh, Rob. Thank you for sharing that. Ben, South Africa is infamous for great white sharks, dark waters. Do you go into competitions where you know there are sharks with that in mind? 
Um, I think like if you're going into a contest, you you just wouldn't even be thinking about it because you'd be so dead set on trying to win your heat that right. um, that would come second. It's always, I mean, it's always in the back of your head, especially in South Africa. But um, I think they just they just block it out because they're so focused on trying to win their heat. Right, and we even heard from the commissioner after uh, that the whole attack happened, and the commissioner was like, we know there are sharks out there. This water is riddled with great whites. South Africa is known for that. Ben, Rob, hey, thanks so much for, for uh, talking to us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you very much.